This is Equilibrium Man, my ultimate Iron Man account where I have to level my skills as equally as possible, no more than one level apart. If I mess up, I have to restart. I've already lost four accounts in the pursuit of balance, but in that process, a hero was born. Equal Boy, true heir to the Equilibrium Throne, already at base 12s without a single mistake made. How far can Equal Boy go? The world may have never known if I had not rediscovered the footage when trying to make space on my hard drive. The video I had made on a whim rekindled my interest in the concept, and today the saga finally continues. But I lacked confidence. I didn't want to ruin the Equal Boy account by going in blind. Enter Eaglefella, secondary heir to the Equilibrium Throne. My goal for him is to hit base 12s while giving myself a crash course on being Equilibrium Man. And as a bonus, once I hit that goal, I'll have a backup account in case the worst should happen to Equal Boy. Either way, I needed a refresher, so I jumped straight into it. And here's what I learned. First, movement. Early game RuneScape is the slowest you'll ever go. Bad run energy regen means you'll be walking a lot, and not having teleports means you'll be walking even more. Knowing all the ships and other transportation methods available to you is huge for saving time. For this very reason, I started building a planned route around the map, marking what I need to do and where. But I am super not a theory crafter, and if you can't tell by the whole premise of this series, I kind of hate efficiency so I gave up very quickly. Second, XP waste is very real. And I'm not talking about efficiency scapers and making fun of me for doing AFK training methods on my main. I mean that if you are trying not to level up, you only have so much XP available, so you better not use it without making certain you won't need it later. Honestly, it's a super frustrating way to play. You have to inch your XP up and make sure not to cross the level threshold. It's like edging, but with none of the pleasure. Huh? And to make matters worse, I love AFKing, and I have a penchant for watching things on my other monitor while playing, causing me to be easily distracted. Last, resource management. When you are limited in XP, there are only so many things you can gather yourself. Quickly, you'll be relying on ground spawns across the game that you have to go out of the way for. And soon after, you'll be dropping GP on more items but with limited XP gain also comes limited GP gain. So being able to keep several different items available is very helpful. Unfortunately, I'm a psychopath and I decided to be an ultimate Iron Man, so I have limited inventory space and no bank to fall back on. With those three things in mind, this challenge I created for myself is essentially uh, perfectly built to counter me, my entire mindset, and my gaming skills, or lack thereof. But isn't that exactly what makes it exciting? One lapse of attention can lead to a potentially account-ending mistake. Like this. It sounds like a bunch of bullshit. Oh! Yeah, it's bunch of shit. Well, consider me refreshed. Update the counter. Anyway, let's get on to the main content. Equal Boy. And here he is. Base 12s. Feels so nice to be in the double digits. Honestly, I really wanted to have the backup in Equal Fella, but at this point, I'm not too worried. With my levels where they are, I would need so much XP to overlevel that it would take one serious screw up to fail the account at this point. Equal Boy has had a lot of rest this past year and a half, but now it's time for him to get back on the grind. And here's a rundown of the general strategy. In Lumbridge, I'll get as many skills as I can. I pickpocket from the highest level NPC possible, farmer this time. I smith bronze, 100% source from Shantae's shop. I cut the best trays I can, normal for now. I burn what I cut for fire making. I fish shrimps because the nets are free and easy to secure. I cook those shrimp up because I already have them. I rake whenever I can, like when I pass a farming patch on my way to a new zone. On my way west, I mine up Rune Essence at the Wizard's Tower and make air runes because I never have enough spare XP to go for another talisman. I take the Rumington boat to Ardone and grab some planks and sand 
Back in Remington, I rebuild furniture because I can't afford a new room. I visit Land's Inn to snare some birds. I make molten glass at the most convenient furnace, this time after home tallying. And then I blow it. The glass, obviously. And once I have almost all the skills out of the way, I start slaying, working on those combat skills. To make sure I don't get over leveled, I have to edge that XP up more than I edge myself on a Saturday night. Huh? Huh? It's a tough job, but don't worry. I keep myself entertained by making jokes to myself alone in my bedroom. Hey, Stinky. Me when I look in the mirror. <laughs> Once all the combat is out of the way, I go to whatever skill I saved for less. This time, herb lore. Getting herbs is next to impossible when you can't farm seeds or go for drops. So I source my XP from the infinite supply of moss that grows near Taibo Wanai. A wonderful 2.5 XP each. And once my last skill of the circuit is done, I start the next circuit with that same skill to minimize backtracking. And so the cycle continues. But it's not always the same, and it's not always easy. Sometimes, Terrell wants to throw a curveball. That's inconvenient. God damn, am I supposed to kill these fuckers? This task is gonna take more planning. It's not always pain though. Sometimes an innovation comes through. For the most part, upgrades come in the form of level ups unlocking content, like new trees or new guys to steal from. But my outdated and incomplete game knowledge allows for more. Like when I discover that I can actually farm. Oh, huge. I was able to add some actual farm modes to the circuit rather than just raking whenever possible. To be honest, I don't love actual farming. I would almost rather rake. Still good though. And thankfully, I didn't have to do farm runs for long. After following the flow I had built, I started being on autopilot. I repeated the same actions in slightly different orders for hours on end. I felt comfortable doing it, but after enough time, I started to wonder if there was another way. Then I realized. 300 cooking XP. I think that's safe. Yeah, I can do it. I can do quests. I had been purposely ignoring quests and their possible XP rewards for so long that I forgot one day I could just eat that reward XP and do the quests anyway. I started like any account should, with Cook's assistant. Thanks to this absolute flipping genius commenter, I remember the existence of the Sorcerer's Garden. Here I can spend that farming XP on free herbs, even without herb seeds. Farming instantly went from a chore to hugely important for saving time hopping for moss.
I took a long break to look at the old school wiki and proceeded to sort every quest ever released by its experience rewards. When Circuit 18 came, I was going to do some real questing. But first, I wanted to finish up Circuit 17 with Hunter. I went ahead and got 18 Hunter to start the next circuit. And while I was in the area, I got 18 Construction 2 just before going to bed for the day. Remember that for me, will ya? The next day, I wanted to go quest mode, big time. I started Corsair Curse, discovered there was a traitor among us, and attempted to slay him, only to realize it would be tougher than I thought. I home tallied, got 18 woodcutting and fire making, and did sheep shear while I was in town. I did X marks the spot on my way out of town. I did witch's potion for 18 magic, stopped in Ardone to fix a clock tower real quick, and tried the Corsair Cove boss again, this time with food. Okay, okay, so my food wasn't that good, but I'll be back. I took a break to make some delicious cabbage soup. Got 18 fletching on the side and 18 cooking while making my food for fight number three. God damn, this guy's ridiculous. I did an archaeological dig for fun. Then slayed an apocalyptic fucking demon. Easily, I might add. I got 18 thieving and crafting, then decided to splurge for some good food to take down a single fucking guy. Finally, there's no reason for this to be harder than Demon Slayer. After that, I herded some sheep real quick, and while in the area, I got some planks for construction. I even made some oak planks so I could make a tool store one and stop worrying about the saw. I dropped 10k on the workshop, a huge investment for more inventory space, and made my tool store. I rounded out the workshop with a table and even made it again for good measure. You didn't forget, did you? Cause I did. I guess this is the end for our equal boy. But what if it wasn't? I mean, I know we trashed accounts over one mistake in the past, but would I really throw away 40 hours of gameplay just over one slip of the mind? You bet your ass I would. 